Aberdeen Asset Management PLC is a London-listed and Aberdeen-based company. It's the fastest-growing UK asset manager with offices worldwide. And also a new mm -hmm. stock for us to talk about here on Hot Stocks. Interesting one. It's been, as you said there, the formation of lots of different things. Remember, Scottish Widows was one of the businesses that I always enjoyed the name, and that got incorporated and built into. Headquartered in Aberdeen. Headquartered Further in north Aberdeen, than Moscow, I market must tell cap you. here, 3.5 billion pounds, PE of 21.1, dividend yield of just over 9%. So let's have a look at the share price graph. So now that is the London listed price. It fell quite sharply in 2015 because it had a big focus on emerging market funds, which means in the UK context, obviously, funds sold yeah. to UK citizens who the investments themselves were global and those came off the boil quite sharply. Yes. Are we looking at a big opportunity, Lance Williams? I don't think so, unfortunately. It's, it's, we had had that emerging market focus and quite active, quite active in the South African market. You see them on a lot of share registers. Um, they, they're quite aggressive when they go into a company. They tend to buy a lot um, and, and really become an anchor shareholder. But then sometimes when they want to get out, it becomes a problem. So they almost become the shareholder of reference. Grown by acquisition is sort of listed quite a while ago on the London market and bought up a lot of things along the way and grown assets under management. But the emerging market shine has come off and it hasn't done particularly well. It seems some of these businesses when they grow by acquisition, they tend to overpay for their acquisitions. And I think it's a little bit of a case here where they've overpaid, so the sellers actually reap the economic benefits and the, the buyer being Aberdeen has really left its shareholders short. Its assets under management have been dropping quite considerably um, over the last few years and it's been a little bit of a trend. It's hit their profits quite hard. Attractive dividend yield, but so almost a value stock. But is this a value trap? And that's my concern. Why did you decide to put this one into the mix? Well, its CEO, whose name is James Gilbert, and he was also one of the co-founders, is quite visible. They've been trying to set themselves up to go beyond being a UK Aberdeen-based mm. player. They set up offices in London, obviously. They're in Singapore and they're also in Philadelphia. Yeah. So they're trying to break into US asset managers. And they're really trying to kind of go global. So Gilbert's been appearing on CNBC as a guest host internationally. I've been watching him. And I don't know, I just think, you know, emerging markets were the flavor of the month in 2013 when this company traded its all-time high. Then they go downhill because there's this retrenchment. But now we've seen emerging market stock markets climb again with, you know, Brazil doing well, South Africa yeah. and dollar terms doing well. So I don't know, I just think that... It's an interesting one and perhaps it one which your could attention. go bigger. There we go, their branding strategy is working well, <laughs> specifically if they're using CNBC, mm. hot or not, on Aberdeen. Who wants to go first? Um, wants to? Not hot on this one. Mm. He wants to hear what you say first. <laughs> <laughs> not hot. <laughs> I'm going to give it a tick. I just okay. think, um, you know, it's got the right bones and good management and I like the way they stick to their guns. So I'm going to think that this could be one where they have a better set of results on account of the market turning and some upward movement. Well